the coming year will see the peoples of Malaysia subjected to threats and strains by hostile outright forces. The internal enemies of Malaysia, having been rejected by the people, have now been reduced to becoming agents for these outside forces. Whether confrontation assumes more serious and threatening shape will depend to a great extent on the measure of resoluteness and unity we show. If our will and unity and successfully corroded by economic pressure, then the temptation to crush Malaysia by more active measures will prove irresistible. It is vital, therefore, for us to make manifest that though we are a peace-loving people whose main concern is to build a just and prosperous society for ourselves, we cannot be cowed into submission. We should make clear by our demonstration of unity and quiet confidence that the crushing of Malaysia will not be easy task and may even turn out to be more disastrous to those out to crush us. This does not mean that we should not try to seek accommodation with those who persist in their confrontation. But accommodation should be on terms which does not destroy our political integrity or our right to build a Malaysia based on concepts of equality for all races and groups, of a government freely elected by the people, and of a society which lays stress on promoting the welfare of the people through constructive labour.